I am an MCN. <clears throat> we have seen different AC circuits. Uh, before going into the details of LCR circuits, we have to discuss power consumed or power associated with AC circuits. Average power consumed by an AC circuit is expressed by the formula P equals Vi cos phi where P is the average power consumed in watt or it is called actual power consumed. V is the RMS value of the applied voltage. I is the RMS current. Phi is the phase difference between current and voltage. V into I. Voltage into current is always power. V into I is called apparent power of the circuit. That is not the actual power. If you want to get the actual power, you must multiply the apparent power by cos phi. Cos phi is called power factor of the circuit. This quantity is very important in transmission of AC and consumption of AC. How will you define power factor? Now, unit of apparent power is volt ampere. Because it is V into I, unit of V is volt, unit of I is ampere. So, unit of apparent power is volt ampere. Uh, and uh, power unit of actual power or uh, average power is watt. Both these are the same. But the, to distinguish the two quantities, we express the units in different forms. That's all. Now, what is power factor? Power factor cos phi equals P by Vi. That is, power factor is the ratio of actual power consumed to the apparent power. That is the power factor definition. Now, what is the significance of power factor? Now, from the expression for power, we get I equals P by V cos phi. Suppose we want to distribute a power of 1 kilowatt, that is 1000 watt, at 250 volts. Suppose power factor of the circuit is, or transmission lines, transmission system, is 0 0.01. Cos phi is 0 0.01. Then what is the current? in the transmission line or distribution line. I1 equals P by V cos phi. That is 1000 by 250 into 0.01. The answer is 400 ampere. 400 ampere is a gigantic current. It is very difficult to handle such a current. High ampere means high law, heavy loss of electricity, electric power in the form of I squared R in transmission lines. And it is very difficult to handle such a current because it will require high insulation. Uh, insulation system we must provide. It is costly space consuming and etc etc so high current is always impractical because it is very difficult to handle electric power at high ampere that is why during generation of electric power electricity is generated at high voltage and low 
current. Now on the other hand, if the power here the power factor is point zero one very small, but if the power same wattage of power and uh, distributed for say at same voltage two fifty, but if the power factor is one, that is cos phi is one, current in volt equals thousand by two fifty into one. That is four ampere. That's a small current. We can handle it easily. And uh, there is no problem of uh, insulation. No insulation problem arises. So, well, importance of power factor is power factor decides strength of current in the transmission system or distribution system, and it controls by increasing the power factor. You can limit current in the line within safety limit. That is the significance of power factor. Now we go to different circuits and uh, discussion of power associated with the circuits. The first circuit is pure resistive circuit. You know that in pure resistive circuit, current and voltage are in the same phase. That is phase difference phi equals zero. So that power factor cos phi is one. Then the power consumed, P equals Vi cos phi or Vi cos zero, that is Vi into one, or P equals V into Y. Or Power consumed or actual power is equal to the apparent power and this is maximum. In brief, a resistance consumes maximum electric power in AC circuits. We know it in our day-to-day -day life, electric iron, electric heater, etc. consumes high power, large power. Then, Next element is capacitive circuit. Capacitive circuit, a capacitor. In capacitor, current lead zone applied voltage by 90 degree phase. Or voltage lags behind current by 90 degree. That means phase difference is 90, so cos phi power is vi cos 90 that is zero that is capacitor does not consume power that is an advantage it is um, uh, resistance is called vat full element in ac circuit capacitor is a vat less element in electric AC circuits. It doesn't absorb any power. But, of course, there are certain losses, power losses associated with capacitor because of its dielectric material, then connection wires, etc., etc. There is a small amount of power dissipation. This is ideal case we are discussing. And next is... Uh, Inductive circuit, coil, in coil, current lags behind applied voltage or voltage leads on current by 90 degree. We have seen all these things in earlier postings. So here, here also phase difference between current and voltage is 90 degree. So P equals Vi cos 90 zero. So inductance coil also consumes no power. It's a wattless component or wattless element in AC circuits. So both capacitor and inductance coil do not consume any electric power when it works in this circuit. And next is uh, combination of resistance and inductance. Then you just remember the impedance triangle base of the right angle triangle is R, altitude is omega L, hypotenuse is Z, Z equals square root of 
R square plus omega square L square. Now power P equals V I cos phi. Here cos phi you can find from this uh, triangle. Cos phi is adjacent side by hypotenuse. It is R by Z or power P equals V I R by root of R square plus omega square L square. So there is a power consumption, not zero. Next is RC combination, right triangle, impedance triangle. Here also cos phi is R by Z and R or R equals, sorry, R, cos phi equals R by square root of R square plus 1 by omega square C square. So power consumed is P equals V I R by square root of R square plus 1 by omega square C square. That is the power consumed in RC combination. Finally, a series LCR circuit where the impedance triangle is like this. This is R. This is omega L minus 1 by omega C. Hypotenuse is Z total impedance. Square root of R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C, the whole square. Here also cos phi is R by Z or R by this much. So that power consumed P equals V I R by square root of. So uh, this is the power consumed in LCR circuit. So you need not worry about this formula because just you remember the impedance triangle and you can uh, write the ex required expression for power, current, etc. That is all about uh, this power and AC circuits. Now we have to discuss resonance circuits. We will see it shortly.